Now looking at the iNav implementation on my Talon GT HD FPV, I have the run cam link that I reviewed uh, a little while ago, DJI uh, HD FPV. Uh, I've put a SpeedyB F405 wing in there, I'll show you that a bit closer. GPS is uh, Matek SAM M8Q, that's a really good little GPS with compass, but I don't need the compass, so I haven't connected that. Receiver is a Matek uh, ELRS twin antenna receiver. I 3D printed up a base for the Speedy B F405 wing, and that just screws down into the plywood uh, shelf there. The ELRS receiver is plugged into UART1, which is at these four pins across here, making sure. RX is connected to TX and TX is connected to RX like all UART connections. ESC plugs into S1, nothing into S2 because we don't have a second motor. Ailerons are into S3 and S4 and the tail surfaces are into S5 and S6. HD FPV is plugged into the dedicated port there which is UART5. GPS is plugged into the ded dedicated GPS plug, but there's no um, compass connected, and that is UART3. And now we'll go and connect it up to the INAV configurator and show you how to set it up. Right, so we plug the board into the configurator, we can connect. Um, a plane is sitting up on us now, so that's why it's looking funny there. Done the calibration. Mixer, we choose airplane VTAIL. That tells you exactly where to plug everything into. Uh, and it gives us this mix. I have fast digital servos, so I'm going to use the 330 Hz servo refresh rate. Standard ESC. Ports we're using an Express LRS plugged into UART1. So UART1 is the line that we click serial receiver. GPS is on UART3. And I have my HD FPV plugged into UART5. I've done the WTF OS hack to my goggles, so in this case I need to select MSP display port. If you've got um, unhacked DJI gear, then you would choose DJI FPV VTX. Uh, but yeah, that's the one for me on UART 5. UART 6 is uh, board communication, so we don't touch that one. And in configuration, we need GPS for navigation turned on. And I like to turn on continuously trim servos on a fixed wing. Failsafe return to home, PID tuning. This is pretty much the stock PID at rates, but I've increased the feed forward for pitch because I didn't feel that I had quite enough uh, throw. I've just increased this feed forward value to give 80% of the throw, the manual throws in acro and angle. And uh, mechanics, I've just popped in plus four uh, for fixed wing level trim just to get the plane to fly level in angle. I will fly the plane see if that's enough uh, and adjust as needed. In advanced tuning I've dropped the cruise throttle down a little bit just so that it's not uh, revving too hard in the uh, cruise and uh, position hold and return to home modes. Here's my receiver, it is connected, you can see I'm twiddling the receiver sticks and that's all working. Expr I'm using Express LRS receiver so Crossfire is the protocol that you choose here or the serial receiver provider. I have a dedicated arming switch, uh, angle and manual are my sort of setup modes. I've got them on channel 6. Uh, cruise and loiter are my cruising along in FPV modes on channel 7. Then I've got a return to home just on channel 8. Auto tune, uh, I really do an auto tune, but if I want to, that's on channel 9. And I have a couple of alternate OSD screens. And I have a, a beeper channel as well in case I want to turn on the beeper if I land it a little bit away from myself in the long grass. GPS, we can see this number here, the total messages is counting up so I know my GPS is working. I just have to take it outside so that it can acquire satellites to do the final check. Here's my OSD uh, and it is the DJI WTF video format. And uh, other CLI entries, I have this list uh, specifically for HD ELRS modes with a three-page OSD and I just uh, have this ready to copy and paste in. I have some safe home positions which are just uh, not over the top of me but sort of a little bit out 
uh, in a safer spot. And these are the relevant OSD entries there. So uh, that is it. We're all ready to go. I just need to check that I am actually achieve, uh, acquiring satellites and my control surfaces are definitely working in the correct direction in uh, time to go for a fly. Try out the new nose as well as uh, INAV, so we'll see how that feels. Uh, I won't do a direct comparison with the other nose today, uh, I'll do that on another day. Uh, when I connected it all up I did find that the rudder action was reversed, so I had to go into the mixer page and reverse the, uh, the weights on the stabilised yaw uh, to get the rudder working the correct way. Otherwise everything else is working properly. I've got a 4S 3300 LiPo in there with my extra nose, fits in easily. Getting the right beeps there. So we'll just wait for satellites now and uh, give it a throw. I can check all my control surface directions, so ailerons are correct, elevators correct, and I do have enough elevator throw, that's the main thing I would worry about. Rudder's going the correct way. No satellites yet, so we'll just wait a little while. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. I have done a quick little test flight just to make sure everything's working properly, and it is. So now let's go for a bit of fun. Cruising in Acro very nicely. There's a bit of wind uh, that's sort of flying straight into the wind at the moment. Uh, it would be about uh, getting up to 10 knots occasionally, I suppose. Cruising on five and a bit amps, six amps, uh, 33 kilometers an hour into the wind. And that is just beautiful. Cruise mode. Cruising on six and a half amps, that's pretty good. Holding steady. Let's just redirect it out to see a bit, being brave. That is beautiful. Look how smooth that is. Now what I need to check is, is it going to uh, hold altitude in angle mode? So we'll switch to angle mode. Angle. That's climbing a little bit, so I can probably uh, reduce the four degrees down to three and a half, three degrees, something like that, the, for the p uh, board pitch trim. Manual, Manual mode. That seems to be flying beautifully, so we're trimmed pretty right. Good amount of control, not too much control, just just right. Yeah, that's cool. But uh, Acro is the mode to fly in, that just feels beautiful. Oh, this is just perfect. Just behaving as it should, just really nicely. I. Uh, I would put it, yeah, it's sort of equivalent to the uh, Swordfish, I think. The Swordfish probably has more power and more punch with the dual motors. Um, but uh, this is a nice, simple, compact, uh, well-performing little FPV plane. Perfect for INAV. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, yes, that's right, I've got my nose on it, haven't I? That, well, that seems to be, <laughs> seems to be not making work, fly worse anyway, but uh, it'll be good to do a direct comparison between the, uh, my aerodynamic nose and the um, uh, the stock nose. I don't need a GoPro in the nose so uh, there's no point having that that blunt shoebox nose for me. Uh, I'm getting excellent efficiency with the camera up on top. I probably could sink the camera into the top of my pointy nose maybe um, but I'll keep I'll keep working on that uh, and come up with a design so uh, great stuff.
This is beautiful. All right, well, that's all going well. Uh, I can highly recommend this uh, Talon, Zod Talon GT kit uh, as a, still a very capable INAV and FPV plane, especially with this uh, HD FPV gear and the nice uh, fast uh, exact servos. This is the first time I've flown with uh, high performance servos actually on an INAV plane, I think. So uh, look, at, look at how steady that is. That is just stabilizing beautifully. Great stuff. All right, we'll bring it on home and uh, wrap it up. So there we go, that's all come together nicely uh, to make a really nice FPV package. Really smooth and efficient. The uh, pointy nose seems to work really well. The uh, exact uh, fast digital servos, FR Sky servos, seem to be working beautifully. The stabilisation was uh, spot on, I think. And all I've done really is use the stock pids. I increased the feed forward for the pitch a little bit, just to make sure I have enough throw there. Uh, and that's about it, really. Uh, great little package. The Zod Talon GT kit, highly recommended, uh, as long as you don't mind putting it all together. Speedy BF 405 wingboard works perfectly. And uh, what have I got? The Runcan Link uh, HD system, uh, FPV system. So good stuff. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.